hungry. Anyone hungry? Lunch on brimstone after this. Like typically you're not a voice actor, correct? Or right. you haven't been in the past. Right. So how how does one come about getting this job for Valorant? Uh, I mean, uh, I've been doing uh, so music and singing is actually my career. Yes. Is what my passion is. And back when I was in uh, South Korea, I was actually doing uh, singing K-pop over there for ten years, and my contract ended. And being a UK citizen, I went back to the UK and the timing was actually impeccable because I actually received an Instagram uh, DM from a UK agency and they were like, hey, like, would you be down to maybe audition for this game? Like, obviously they can't specify what it is and uh, that's actually how it came about. One of my favorite things to do is shed light on how great of voice acting performances are because it's something that no one talks about as much as they should unless like i'm sure the industry does talk about like a video game performance or something like that um more so but i don't think the fans appreciate it as, enough because i i love the the writing on on valorant i love like how intricate everything is especially like just kind of voice lines that you know have different backstories and more to it but like if you just hear it and it can it can really just go in one ear and out the other but there's there's a, another layer to that and i do want to say first off before we get on to anything i went through every single one of your voice lines on valorant and there i didn't realize how incredible your performance was until until like i started becoming more appreciative of of that you're actually delivering a performance because it's you can definitely get away with just reading the script and doing that and i'm sure there's a lot of video games that it's just like that but valorant has another layer under it with the lore and everything else so you actually do have to to be the character and right. your performance was great all the, the uh, hats off to the writing staff i know i've said this so many times if everyone's listened to my podcast but the writing staff is great. The director is amazing. I just want to know like your interpretation right away of the character when you got whatever cliff notes you got. Just can you talk about what you were able to know at the beginning? They actually gave me the code name Wukong, I think was the code name for Jet or Wushu or something like that, right? Where mm -hmm. it was very, very, very secretive. Uh, and all I got was a little bit of her bio, um, about like who she is, what she does, what kind of personality she does, you know, very, very similar to what voice, uh, over auditions usually are. Mm -hmm. Um, and I got a picture, like a, like a little, uh, sketch of yeah. what she kind of looks like. And it was creepy to be quite <laughs> honest, because back then my hair was the exact same. When I went into that audition room, I had like little side piece, completely white hair, tied back, like into a little bun, and I was just looking at this sketch <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> when did you record for that? The first auditions were... When did Valorant come out again? A April of 2020, I think okay. it was, was the beta, maybe. The auditions were, I think in possibly like the end of 2018 maybe oh wow um and and then 2019 early 2019 was like when like we would continuously like do the, the mm -hmm. actual recordings and then it was silence for for so long for more mm -hmm. than a year and i was like when is this when is this coming out? Yeah. Like, I've recorded so much. Because, like, if you know what Valorant is and how big it is, and say someone is waiting right now to get right. their voice released and stuff, it would probably be a pretty shitty experience because you're just like, you have to, you literally have to sit back, can't tell anyone, and yeah. be like, I see what this game is. I see what it could do for my career. I want to be a part of this community, whatever the case may be. And you just have to sit there. But like you, I you probably be like Riot. You know they made League. It's pretty big. This game probably or maybe is gonna be a big deal. 
Like right. you, you don't have to like sit from the window and just watch everyone else have fun, you know? There are so many things that we've all done that's just not out yet. Like, yeah. There's so many. I'm still waiting, technically. I'm still waiting for. Yeah. Something. Do you ever get confused what you like, what you can say, and what you can't say? Yeah, I like, I like keep my mouth shut. Like. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's <laughs> out. So like, someone will like in chat and like while I'm streaming, someone will be like, "Hey, so I heard this, this, and this," and I'm like, "How? How do you know? Like, is yeah. this out? Is this like?" It, information that people know or people trying to trick me into confirming it like I can't. <laughs> it's, uh, it's tough it's tough <laughs> yeah there's some things that sometimes i get stuff leaked to me like on accident and i'm like yeah. like especially like uh some of the voice actors that aren't like super into the game so i'm sure they don't know that they can't do something like cypher when we did the podcast was like we actually just did something where he's playing chess and i was like uh i don't know if i i'm just gonna leave that out and then i like and then you know however many or however long later i see this cinematic where cypher right. just sitting there playing chess, playing chess yeah. yeah and i was like i i feel so bad uh you can see my face in the clip where i'm like um you should <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I totally understand that. And I think there's a, there's a, there's a level to it. Like, like Gabe, I know Gabe asks questions cause he's like, I can't talk about that. But like, I, and then Miranda is like, I don't know anything and I'm being serious. I have no idea. So there's definitely levels. I think it would probably be better if you just didn't know anything. So you're not like constantly thinking about it, you know? I, there are, there are certain things that they deliberately don't tell us mm -hmm. um obviously for the sake of making sure it doesn't get leaked by accident but also i'm like obsessed with like lore like i oh yeah need, like even mm -hmm. with league i i used to like delve deep yeah. into the lore mm -hmm. right and they have so much lore in league so i was like you know if they have this much luck like they're gonna have so much for valor do you only know like a certain character that's coming out if like maybe you have you have to do a cinematic with them or or with that character i don't mean to say just him but like say like ko did you know that like gabe was joint like it was gabe and everything like in the character and stuff about him or is it just completely unknown or fuck i don't i don't know i, I don't there's so much they do call back to do you know additional voice lines for like newer characters and you know just to kind of upkeep with yeah the the, the time so uh, I know that they added like more back then they added more lines for Sky I believe and that was the first time I heard of that character mm -hmm. um, I didn't know what she looked like uh, you know they gave me a brief explanation of what she does you know what she you know what kind of role she plays I do vaguely remember another one I don't know the name because sometimes they deliberately put code names on them. <laughs> um, and I will only know the name for sure if I have the name in one of the lines. I just want to know how you get through knowing something that a lot of people want to know or would die to know or just right. something something that you can't say i just think about the possible lawsuit <laughs> and i keep my mouth shut <laughs> um no <laughs> uh, or how weird it was to hear yourself in the game and i'm sorry but I... no it's fine uh no i the reason why i don't <laughs> i don't answer that anymore is because i've answered it so much yes um but it's like you know, I don't mind. I don't mind it at all. Weird would be, I don't think the right word. I think okay. it would just be like, uh, it was just so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> that that that's cool so too. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was just so cool. I I remember like I got your backs. Just you know, from the front. Wind. Show me where to go. No. Watching here. Finally, this is how I like to win. We're gonna win. No other options. Let's go. 